Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you an action adventure movie from 2001, titled Tomb Raider. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Lara Croft is roaming around in an ancient tomb in Egypt when a robot attacks her. While fighting, she realizes it's been programmed to kill her, but she does not give up and puts up a great fight. After taking it down, she reprograms it and drags it back to her home, revealing that it was sent by her friend and colleague Bryce, at her own request, to face a life-threatening challenge to test her fighting skills. As Lara and Bryce discuss their adventure, a secret meeting is held in Venice, Italy, where the leader of the Illuminati explains a strange planetary alignment, that only happens once in 5,000 years. After informing the members about this event, he asks his assistant, Mr. Powell, to find the key to a mysterious triangle before the alignment begins, because they must use the key during that time, to fulfill their purpose. Back at Lara's house, she misses her father Lord Richard Croft, who lost his life on one of his secret missions. She also dreams about her childhood, when her father told her about this upcoming celestial event, and asked her to find the specific key when it happens. One night, she discovers an ancient ticking clock, in one of her father's secret rooms, and tells Bryce, that it started ticking at the exact time of the first stage of the alignment, so she thinks there is some sort of link between the two. As they examine the clock, she spots a triangle-shaped key inside, and tells him that it's the all-seeing eye, as her father had told her. After being unable to reach a conclusion, she decides to discuss it with her father's friend Mr. Williams, but comes across her old acquaintance Alex. They argue over a past incident that made them part ways, when Alex stole an antique object from her, which she is still not ready to forgive him for. While showing the clock to Mr. Williams, Lara reveals that her father explained, that the one who possesses the clock can control time. She asks him for further information, but gets disappointed, as he denies knowing anything about it. At night, Williams calls her and tells her about Manfred Powell, suggesting he might help her with the clock. She meets Powell, who introduces himself as a lawyer, and tells her that he studies unique objects as a hobby. He is anxious to see the clock, and asks her about it, but she only brought photos of it, because she does not trust him at all. Soon, she figures out that Powell is lying to her about his profession, and shares her concerns with Bryce. At night, Lara's house is raided by a group of unknown intruders, who try to kill her, but she manages to flee, while turning on the safety systems. Bryce quickly finds out they are trying to steal the clock. He guides her about their positions, so she can fight back against them, but they steal the clock, and present it to Powell. As they clean up the house after the fight, Lara receives a letter, and gets shocked to see that it was written by her father. By following the clues mentioned in the letter, she finds another detailed letter from her father, which he wrote before his death. In the letter, he mentions the clock she found earlier, and says it's the key to the Triangle of Light. Richard further explains, that the triangle was forged from the metal found in the crater of a meteor, that had fallen on Earth, at the time of the previous alignment of the nine planets. As per the legend, the people of Light built a great city in that crater, where they worshipped the triangle for its ability to control time. The magical triangle possessed immense powers, but they started using it for evil purposes, which ultimately led to the destruction of the city. When the situation got out of control, they split the triangle into two pieces, and hid them at opposite ends of the Earth, so no one abuses those powers again. Lara's father asks her to find those pieces, and hints that the first one is hidden inside a temple, on the ancient Khmer Trail in Cambodia. She further learns, that she must be in the Tomb of the Dancing Light, at the exact moment of the second phase of the alignment, because the world will be in great danger at that moment. She finds that the members of the secret society, known as the Illuminati, are trying to fulfill the ancient prophecy, by reuniting the two pieces of the triangle, so she must get it before them. As the triangle gives massive power to its possessor, Lara is advised to destroy it, so no one can misuse its powers, just like the residents of the ruined city once did. She discusses it with her teammates Bryce and Hillary, and decides to go to Cambodia. When Lara arrives at the temple, she finds out that Powell has already hired some locals to destroy its door. She also spots Alex there, and figures out he has joined hands with Powell, as they both share the same interest. As Powell's men try to pull out the door, Lara finds a side way leading into the temple. As directed by her father, she finds a jasmine flower at the entrance, but as soon as she touches it, the ground collapses, making her fall into a ditch that takes her to the main temple. Meanwhile, Powell and his friends also make their way inside, and start looking for the key. Soon, Alex solves the temple's puzzles, and intends to insert the clock at the time of the alignment. While secretly listening to their conversation, Lara realizes they are mistaken, because she has already found the right keyhole, 
As Powell agrees to hand over the clock to her, she uses it as the key to unlock a wooden log, that pierces a giant urn, leading to the release of a massive splash of light. By doing so, they discover the first half of the triangle, but Lara gets it just before Powell. The liquid from the urn starts flowing through the channels, and brings the statues to life, who immediately attack them. As others fight against the statues, Alex steals the clock and gives it back to Powell, but Lara still has the first half of the triangle. The six-armed guardian statue attacks Lara, while the others flee from the temple, but she destroys it, and escapes with the piece of the triangle. After making it out of the temple, and getting help from the locals, she calls Powell, who offers that they work together, as both have incomplete pieces, and she agrees to join him in Venice. She calls Bryce to inform him that she got the triangle, and shares her plan of working with Powell. He expresses his concern, thinking Powell might hurt her, but she knows he won't attempt anything as long as she has the other half of the triangle. While in Cambodia, Lara also meets a monk in a Buddhist monastery, who seems to know about her secret mission, and reveals he knew her father as well. After offering her a magical tea to quickly heal her wounds, he tells her that he also wants the triangle to be destroyed, for the sake of everyone's safety. After some time, she arrives in Venice, and learns that Powell is a member of the Illuminati, the secret organization Richard mentioned in his letter. She questions him about the organization, but he ignores it, and starts discussing the terms of the partnership, to find the other piece of the triangle. When she insists, he accepts working for Illuminati, but reveals her father was also part of the council. She does not believe him, thinking her father would have told her about it, but he discloses that Richard kept many secrets from her. While talking to her, he also tells her, that he is aware of her secret wish of getting another chance to meet her father, and to spend time with him, which she could not do earlier. Powell tells her that if she helps him find the triangle, he would be able to use its divine powers to bring her father back. She gets confused about whether to accept the offer or not, and leaves without saying anything to him. Lara visits Alex, and convinces him to work for her instead of Powell, to rekindle their old friendship, and he agrees to help her. The next day, as Powell waits for her before resuming his search, she joins him, and presents her piece of the triangle to keep her end of the deal, as they start flying towards the ruined city located in Siberia. Powell tells them that the place is a dead zone, and helicopters don't fly over the area, so they will need to continue their journey by foot. Upon arriving, they interact with the locals, when a girl asks Lara, whether they are going to the ice lake in the crater. She accepts it, but the girl accuses her of risking everything just to see her father again. The group continues its journey by carts, and arrive at the old temple in the center of the ancient city. Lara rings the bell, that opens a secret passage to the main hall where they find a giant artificial sun, that automatically starts rotating at the time of the alignment. After seeing it, Alex suspects the second half must be inside the sun. Lara agrees with him, and climbs on it, where she uses the key to retrieve the missing piece. The leader of the council starts to fuse both halves, while saying the Illuminati will finally be able to control time, and fulfill the sacred prophecy of their ancestors. Before he can finish, Powell asks his officer to shoot him, as he wants to use the triangle for his own purpose. Later, Powell himself tries to fuse the pieces of the triangle, but it does not work. Assuming that Lara must know the answer to the problem, he stabs Alex to persuade her. He requests her help in reuniting the triangle, saying he can use it to go back in time and spare Alex. He further tempts her, by saying the triangle will also bring her father back. She agrees to help him, and tells him the secret to fusing both pieces, but seizes the triangle from him. She goes back in time and meets her father, who tells her that she successfully crossed her present with his past, making it possible to see him again. Although overwhelmed to see him, she expresses her displeasure with him, for not telling her about the secret council. Richard accepts keeping it a secret from her, as he wanted her to be safe. He also reveals knowing the truth behind Lara keeping the triangle to herself. She says the time was stolen from them, so she wants to steal it back, to be with him again. He informs her about the disaster it can bring to Earth, and convinces her to destroy it forever. She goes back in time, just before Powell stabbed Alex, and redirects the knife to him, before destroying the triangle. Powell taunts her that her father begged for his life, when they caught him betraying them. Lara gets angry, and beats him after a brutal fight. Soon, the tomb starts crumbling, but she successfully escapes, saving the world from a disaster. She comes back to her house, and visits her father's memorial. And starts fighting the robot again, with a smile. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.